Hi, this is Steve Winder of Basement Saver Pumps, and this video covers running a bucket test. You need to run a bucket test to define your city water flow rate. Then you'll be able to understand which specific water-powered backup pump models will actually work in your particular basement. The same test is applicable for all Basement Saver water-powered backup sump pump models, and later on I'll show you how you can choose the optimum size pump for your basement. So this is the Basement Saver Water Powered Backup Sump Pump. It's a WP1 model. And what we do is we send water in through here, the water passes through the pump and comes out the front and it runs away to discharge. And for every gallon of water that we send through the pump, it will suck two gallons of water up from our sump pit. Now, in order to use this pump, we've got to have sufficient water flow to power the pump. If we don't have sufficient water flow, the pump just won't work. So. Let's go outside and we'll perform a bucket test to find out if we've got sufficient water flow to power this WP1 pump. Basement Saver offers four different ranges of water powered backup pumps, each with models in three different sizes. So while I'm setting up outside, let's quickly cover the water supply flow rates that each model size needs in order to operate. Size 1 pumps like the WP1 or HP1 can pump up to 900 gallons per hour, depending upon your city water pressure. These pumps require at least 7 gallons per minute city water supply, so you should be able to fill a 5 gallon bucket in 43 seconds or less. Size 2 pumps like the WP2 or WPA2 can pump up to 1,400 gallons per hour. These pumps require at least 10 gallons per minute on the supply side, so you have to be able to fill your bucket in 30 seconds or less. And size 3 pumps like the WP3 or WPA3 are really meant for commercial basements and can pump up to 2,000 gallons per hour. These large capacity pumps require a water supply flowing at at least 15 gallons per minute, so you have to be able to fill the bucket in 20 seconds or less. So now, let's head outside and perform a 5 gallon bucket test to see if this house has sufficient water flow rate to power a size 1 WP1 model pump. The WP1 pump, and in order for this pump to operate properly, we have to be able to move 5 gallons of water through this pump within 43 seconds. And so now what we're going to do is, we're going to make sure that our water system here can send five gallons into this bucket within 43 seconds. If it can do that, this pump is going to work fine for us. So, let's start. The first thing we'll do is, we'll make sure we understand where the five gallon mark is on this bucket. So I'm going to use this one gallon container and fill the bucket five times with this and get a mark on the bucket. So I filled my one gallon container up to the mark here, five times, poured it into the bucket, and I've marked off on the bucket exactly where the water line should be on this ground, which isn't level, um, and put some tape in place. And so now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fill the, the bucket from the water supply and see how long it takes. I've got a stopwatch here to do that. Turn the water supply on full. I'm ready with my stopwatch. Thirty three seconds. So for a WP1 size pump, we have to be able to fill a 5 gallon bucket in 43 seconds or less. Since we filled our bucket in 33 seconds, that means we can easily power a WP1 size pump. To power a WP2 model pump, we need to be able to fill our bucket in 30 seconds or less. Since we took 33 seconds to fill the bucket, 
we don't have quite sufficient flow rate to power a WP2 pump. And finally, if we wanted to install a large capacity WP3 size pump, we'd have to be able to fill our bucket in 20 seconds or less. What's in your basement? Visit basementsaver.com. Check out our SP series high efficiency primary sump pumps. Check out our BP series powerful battery backup pumps. And finally, check out the world's most advanced water powered backup sump pumps, available in four different series, with each series containing pump units in three different sizes.